hi guys welcome to my channel my name is joan aoko today i'm going to show you how to crochet this pair of shorts it's a pretty decent one perfect for summer it's two-toned so you can play around with uh, the colors and you can make this in any size of your choice and also guys we are on the road to 30k subscribers so if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel kindly do so and also leave a comment down below let me know what you think about this so for the measurements you need to know your starting height all the way from the waist going down and then you also need to know your hip size so out of your hip size let's say your hip size is 40 you're going to divide that into two so that the front panel is going to take half size of your hips which is 20 inches and then also for the front panel you're going to divide that into two so if it's if it's it was 20 inches then from here to here it's supposed to be 10 inches and then from here to here it's supposed to be 10 inches that's all you need to know because for the waist uh, we are going to use a drawstring to adjust that for the materials i'm using a medium weight yarn it's called winter king for ply but you can use any other medium weight yarn of your choice so for medium weight yarn i'm going to use three millimeter crochet hook you need scissor you need darning needle and most importantly you need tape measure and stitch markers which is optional so for these shots you're going to start with your starting height from your high waist going down depending on how much coverage you need so i'm going to start with a starting height of 14 inches so start by making a slip knot always leave a long tail to help you weave in your ends and then for the 14 inches i'm going to chain 78 chain stitches I have uh, 78 chain stitches to start off row one make a half double crochet in the third chain from the hook so one two three make your first half double crochet so this will count as one half double crochet and then make half double crochet in the next nine stitches for a total of ten half double crochets that's three four five and ten so this is ten half double crochets and then in the rest of the stitches you're going to make one double crochet in each and every stitch until you complete this row so this is where you can actually mark your 10th half double crochet so that you can keep check of your stitches end of row one so for row two you're going to chain two the chain two doesn't count as a stitch and now we're going to work through the back loop and we're going to start increasing on the edges so yarn over and in the first stitch which is here through the back loop you're going to place two double crochets to form an increase so one and additional one double crochet to form an increase now you're going to work through the back loop where you have your double crochets you're going to place one double crochet in each and every stitch and then half double crochet in the next 10 stitches so this is where you need your stitch marker i used this to guide me so also make the half double crochet through the back loop only And then one half double crochet through the back loop in the last stitch for row three chain two and turn the chain two doesn't count as a stitch and then in the first stitch over here through the back loop you're going to create your first half double crochet and then half double crochet through the back loop in the next nine stitches for a total of ten half double crochets 9 and 10 half double crochet 
and then now grab your stitch marker or a different color yarn color and mark that tenth stitch like that and then from there you're going to work through the back loop half double crochet until the end i'm going to show you what to do how to increase when you get at the end of this row so i'm at the end of the row and one stitch left and the chain two so the chain two doesn't count as a stitch so we are not going to work into it so in this one last double crochet through the back loop you're going to place two double crochets to form an increase so the reason why i'm doing this is to create more of sort of bumps here to create that wavy effect okay so since I'm working with a hip size of 40 and stretched so that it can give me that loose fitting, then it means that the front part is 20 inches. So this is half size of the front panel. So I'm going to work 10 inches for this. Okay. So you're going to, depending on your size, now you're going to alternate this row two and row three still go ahead and increase your work and then i'm going to stop once i get five inches and stretched and then i'm going to show you what to do so i'm at row eight still increasing my work in each and every stitch and so far i have around 3.5 inches and stretched so from row nine this is row nine uh we are going to alternate the increasing part of it so in this row nine there's no increase just make plain double crochet stitches and then in the next stitch you're going to increase in the following stitch do not increase in the next one increase and i'm going to do that in the next five uh, in the next six rows and then i'm going to show you what to do next so in this row do not increase the other one increase do not increase increase that way so here we are this is the upper part this is the down part and from here to here is the rows that i was alternating with an increase normal double crochet increase normal double crochet so for the next rows we're going to work now in straight line do not increase anywhere just work in straight line to work in a straight line uh, this is your last double crochet you're going to ignore the chain one doesn't the chain two doesn't count as a stitch so ignore it and this is how you work in straight line to start off the next row chain two and turn you're going to ignore the chain two and in the first stitch place your first double crochet over there sorry it's supposed to be a double crochet and then through the back loops continue working half double crochet don't forget to maintain your uh, work double crochets sorry then don't forget to maintain your half double crochets on the waist so continue working through that and then once you get to half size of the half of the front panel i'm going to meet you so I'm done with half size of the half of the front panel and so far this is what I have. I also went ahead and worked in straight line to create the round fly over here so this is also important. So I'm working with a high waist round fly and up to this point it's uh, around 10.5 up to here. And then this uh, under part over here, it's around 2.5 inches. So that means from here to here, it's 13. And also on the other part, it's going to be 13. So for it's going to make a total of 26 inches, which is going to be my round fly because it's high waist. So now because I need my work to be... Uh, baggy it's not tight 
this part is 10 inches and also the other part of the front part is going to be 10 the back 10 and the other side of it 10 for a total of 40 inches but if you need these shorts to be body hugging i would suggest then you stretch your work while measuring your work okay so now go ahead and make three more of these exactly uh the same thing you've made and then i'm going to show you how to join them so i have four of these one two the third and the fourth so next step is to align our work so put your first panel over here and the other one facing each other like this and take the other side of the front part so i'm going to mix and match <laughs> So this also face it on this other side. Then take the final one as well and face it on this other side. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is to sew on this side. And also on this other side, you're going to sew these two panels together. And also we're going to sew here, this down part, and also on this other side. So the next thing is you're going to take your darning needle and sew the two sides together and we are sewing these on the wrong side, okay? So the wrong side should be on top. So you're just going to go over like that using your darning needle, sew these uh, until the end. So I have sewed this side and this is going to be the wrong side and I also went ahead and sewed this part over here and I also went ahead and sewed on this other part. So now go ahead and sew this part using the wrong side whatever you've been doing and then the next thing is we are going to join these two sides. Still working on the wrong side. We are going to sew this part and this. And we are going to make sure the part you are sewing, sew on the wrong side so that it can match. And then we are going to turn it over. So we are going to start by sewing from the top part. I am going to meet you once you get here. So when you get to the middle part, the crotch area, you are also going to sew the two sides together. So let me show you how to go about it. So per row, you are going to place the rows facing each other and not in between here. Don't place your, your darning needle over here, but rather where you have this double crochet like through that double crochet and then pass it through the double crochet of the other side and then pull it like that so we are going to do this twice per row onto this other side through the double crochet pull it through so repeat this uh so the crotch area together then when you get to this other side you are also going to join these two sides together until you get to the end so this is the wrong side the side that you are working on this is how the middle part look like so flip it on the other side and you're going to have your right side the right side and just like that your shorts is ready this is how it looks like so now go ahead and make a string and then you're going to fix it around the waist then also weave in your ends and you're done thank you so much for watching i really appreciate your time and see you in my next video